Where two international companies regularly do business together, differences may arise in relation to a particular contract. The interests of the two companies are best served by resolving the dispute by arbitration as quickly and cheaply as possible, with a view to maintaining a stream of future business between the two companies. The focus in arbitration should be on the needs of the users. I have had many years of experience as a Queen's Counsel, as Chairman of the Bar, and a judge of the Commercial Court. There has always been a close link between the Commercial Court and arbitration. As a judge, I managed the Lloyds litigation, the largest piece of litigation there has ever been in England and Wales. I have been editor of the Encyclopedia of Banking Law for 30 years. Since I retired from the bench, I have acted as chairman or party appointed arbitrator in arbitrations administered by ICC, LCIA, SIAC, etc. In the fields of banking, financial services, derivatives, international sales of goods and businesses, construction, renewables, and other forms of contractual disputes. Arbitration offers many advantages. The process is private and confidential. The procedure is flexible and can be tailored to the particular dispute. An award can be enforced in any country that has adopted the New York Convention. Surveys of users of arbitration regularly reveal dissatisfaction about the time users have to wait for an award. When giving directions as an arbitrator, I include in the timetable a deadline for the delivery of the award. If arbitration is to provide an effective service to users as an alternative to the courts, awards should be delivered in less time than it takes to obtain a court judgment. The maximum time permitted to deliver a judgment in the commercial court is three months. I consider that arbitrators should reserve the necessary time for award writing after a hearing ends uh, to beat or at least match the time a court would take to produce a result. I will always undertake to reserve the necessary time. Another concern of users of arbitration is cost. Proactive case management can reduce the time and cost of an arbitration dramatically. In April 2015, with others, I introduced the Financial Services Expedited Arbitration Procedure. The procedure is compatible with the rules of leading arbitral institutions. It is designed to encourage expedited arbitrations in banking and financial disputes. The procedure is, however, applicable to all forms of dispute. Arbitration has a great future as an alternative means of resolving disputes. I would like to see it more widely used there is considerable scope for extended use of arbitration, for example, in the field of consumer redress. It is a privilege to be instructed to act as an arbitrator. The role of an arbitrator is a professional, not a business role. It is elementary that an arbitrator must show independence, integrity, impartiality, and expertise. It is important to remember that any award will affect businesses and people. Users are entitled to expect speed, efficiency, cost-effectiveness, and certainty. Arbitration will only flourish if the focus is on the needs of the users.